Good afternoon. Um, don't laugh, Johnny. Good afternoon, <laughs> everyone. Hello. Um, oh, Johnny, you've made it weird now. I've forgotten, bro. My name is <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Johnny, no. Hello. Um, no, Johnny, stop it. I can see you in the corner of my eyes. You are... Hello. It's the afternoon. We had quite an early start yesterday, so we gave ourselves a lay-in today. And we are now making our way to a station in Osaka because we haven't yet booked our return journey home. And considering we didn't get the most sleep on the sleeper train, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully get a train ticket for the bullet train today. Um, if they let us buy them. We're not too sure. Johnny's done his research and he can't work out if you can buy them now or if you have to buy them the day before, but we'll see. We've just walked past a, what was it, like a bird cafe? Yeah. Like animal cafes are everywhere here in Japan. But this one, it had a hawk outside to try and entice people in. And unfortunately it had quite thick rope around his, both his legs and it couldn't even walk properly. Now, I love animals and I would love to go to an animal cafe, but the ethical side of things are a bit, bit, what's the word? It's a bit of a concern when it comes to the ethical side of things in, um, with animal cafes in Japan. Because like I said, I'd love to go, I'd love to go to all the dogs, dogs and the hedgehog ones, but is it ethically okay? I'd love to know your thoughts and if you know of any ethical cafes that I can visit because I would really like to go to one. from the station. I will talk more about that because Johnny found a way to get it slightly cheaper that people may not know about. Um, and now we've come to Osaka Castle and we're just having a fight to eat. <laughs> but it's really lovely to look at. This is the castle uh, moat and an incredibly large wall. used to make the the wall. Look how huge they are. How would they have in, like transported this? We decided not to go today because we're more than likely coming back with our family. So we're going to save it till then when we can all go together. 
we had a look around Osaka Castle and now we're going to make our way uh, on the train to a market. What's the market called? Uh, Shin Sekai. Shin Sekai Market. We'll see what's going on then. And then we've got plans to go out for dinner today, which will be nice because we haven't gone out for dinner yet, have we, since we've been in Osaka? Well, you're not. Well, apart from the breakfast one. Well. Yeah, not dinner though. So yes, that would be nice. It's looking a little bit dead. All the shops, they're all closed. Oh dear. Maybe it's like a morning market. They seem to have come at the wrong time. We found a street that's a bit more lively. We're going to have a look down there in a minute. So the first indoor market that we showed you was not actually the right market. What was the market called? Shin Seki. Shin. The second market we went to was the one where I we were it, supposed uh, to go. No, I think it was all the same thing, but the first one was just closed. A bit dead. And then we've just had something a little bit embarrassing happen to us. We went to go and eat some okonomiyaki. Um, we, we sat down um, at the restaurant. Um, outside because they didn't have any indoor seating because it's very little and then we actually realized we were not at the right place and had mm. to say sorry and excuse ourselves and then the place we were supposed to go to is closed on a Tuesday and Wednesday and it's <laughs> Wednesday today and actually it's quite good that we didn't go there because there was a mouse <laughs> running along the countertop <laughs> so probably we'll give that a miss and I'll go try somewhere else <laughs> Um. We found another vegan uh, restaurant that's close to our... That Google says is open. That it's open, yeah. So we're crossing our fingers and toes, it is actually open because it's like a vegan Chinese restaurant. And the, the reviews say it's really good, but their opening times are a little bit hit and miss. So Why now? I hope it's open because I'm hungry now. Unfortunately, the second restaurant is closed as well. Now we've got to see if we can find something else. There was an Okonomiyaki restaurant around here. Is that going to be open? It is not what we just have to get something from the supermarket. Oh no. Okay. Do you remember what it's called? No. No, no Hang idea. On. I saw my map somewhere. You know what they say, third time lucky. <laughs> I'm really hungry. So I'm almost getting hungry. <laughs> oh no. We're at 
find me at the Okonomiyaki today. We had to walk 23 minutes away. Johnny was very angry. <laughs> you weren't talking, were you? You are trying to preserve your energy. And then we came to the Okonomiyaki place. Had to wait an hour, but we're now here. And we're very excited to be. We're so hungry. <laughs> Johnny, tell them how many meals we ordered. Three. We ordered three dishes, and this is the table. We've got the trampers all in. It's gonna go well. So it's gonna go well. You know what? We got a uh, we've got a uh, yakisoba with vegan melee. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed the light. It's funky. potatoes and asparagus and spinach and mushrooms and something else that's a surprise because I've forgotten. <laughs> Anyway, before Johnny got distracted by dinosaurs, <laughs> we've just eaten three dishes from such a nice restaurant. It's called Oko Okonomiyaki, I think. It's one, run by one girl who works every single day, does everything on her own. I don't know how she does it. And she was so nice and it was such a lovely atmosphere, wasn't it? Yeah, it was all well sick. And they do meat options, vegan and vegetarian, so it's, it's... I don't think they do meat options, though. They do, yeah, it's a place for everybody. Oh, right. The only slight downside is, it's very popular, and it, but it's a very little restaurant. So we, I think I said earlier, but we had to wait an hour after walking 20 minutes, and Johnny was very hungry. Because um, I think they probably only have like 12 seats in there. But it's such a nice vibe, isn't it? Yeah, I would, if you're in the area, I would recommend it. Definitely recommend it. So yeah, we've just, although we... And we got to take it away. And we got to take it away. <laughs> although we didn't have much luck with our first two. I think it was meant to be. Do you think? Sorry, say again. I think I said, although we weren't very lucky with our first two, I think it was meant to be. We're supposed to go there because I feel such a nice, positive experience there. Yeah, it was worth it. It was, it was yeah, really it was. nice. And we met some nice people. And, oh yeah, we met some nice people in the queue. We got talking to them. A couple from Canada. Yeah. So, so yeah. really, all worth it. Recommended by us. <laughs> <laughs>